Hi there, how's it going? Are you good? Great. Thought we'd start off with this. This hasn't quite made it, but I've put it in because there's a few interesting things going on here. So we've got 6x9 right there, and we have a head unit on the top with another random speaker and an amplifier on the side. It also doubles as a bike stand. And here we have the sub. So that's the amp. Interesting. All right, so yeah, not too sure where this is from, what country he's from. If I was to place a guess, I'd say probably maybe South America. Either way, the next one we have is this. So what do we have going on? Right, so it's pulled back that rug. And there we have the JBL. Got a bit of movement. Let's see what it's like when it kicks in. All right, quite a bit of movement. Nice, wasn't expecting that much. the amplifier on the top a nice amount of flex the next one we have is this and these are edifier r1850 dbs i might even get a pair of these just to see what they're like maybe not this model And the next one we have is this, and this comes out of India. So we have a sub R2, and he's done a bit of video editing on this. Don't know if you can tell, but there's somebody stood there with his arms on his waist or hips, and the reflection on the TV. Anyway, with this one, I would probably have preferred maybe a bit of camera motion. Either way, thanks a lot. All right, so here we have a bit of free air from this sub right here. In the previous bass video, I was saying if you're gonna free air one of your subs, I'd like to see it at around 75% volume. So this is close enough. And uh, this video was actually sent to me before the previous video went public. Uh, the next one we have is this. So it's got his sub on its side. All right, okay. Well, let's see how much it moves and how it moves on the lower frequencies. That's a nice amount of movement. Right, and the lows. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. Ah, the next one we have are these four. Where are we? Are we in a, ah uh, yeah, I saw a seat belt. We're in the back of a vehicle. So we've got a bit of movement. I'm not too sure if he's going to turn it up or not. Maybe he was breaking them in. I'm not too sure. I don't remember the conversation that I had with him or anybody else. I have the memory of a goldfish. Too much of that gange. All right, the next one we have is this. So it's turning up the volume. So we have a bit of tape on that cone. I'm uh, not sure what the speakers are. Oh, it says Polk Audio. Looks like somebody's poked your speaker cone. Or, uh, yeah, anyway. Good amount of movement. 
That is a nice amount of movement. That's probably quite loud. And the video ends. And the next one we have is this 12 inch SCAR subwoofer right here. So recently he changed his amp. Alright, looks good. What about the lows? Oh, nice. I like it. Nice. Uh, the next one we have is this. So we have a scar subwoofer at the bottom and a boss on the top. All right, that is what we have then. Kind of looks like they're a little out of phase, but that could be the camera. And it ends. Ah, the next one we have is this. So we're sat on the floor. We have an Alpine setup. Is that an Alpine amplifier too? Looks like it, but I'm not sure. And uh, yeah, we've got a bit of uh, in and out from the sub. Good stuff. We don't see a lot of these Alpine subs, so a thank you. Ah, the next one we have is this kicker sub. Not bad on the lows, not bad. Oh man, even these are putting out lows. I would personally probably high pass them. Depending on how well they perform and at what frequency, yeah, I'd probably high pass them. Decent little speakers though. Now the next one we have is this. So these are some sound cubed subs and I think we're in the back of a car. Yeah, they got a good amount of movement. Looks like you've got good power going to them. Uh, the next one we have is this. Looks like a little DIY setup. Well, we do have a bit of movement. All right, you've got a handle on it and everything. And the next one we have is this. So we have a receiver and an amplifier. Bass sounds pretty good. And those are the speakers. Uh, the next one we have is this. All right, so it's turning up the volume, volume 44, and those are the speakers. OK, 
Okay, well that sounded like it got pretty loud. And that is all half for now, so I'll catch you in the next one.